It's a new day, my friends, and today is big. If you're in the Raft Community Discord, you may have seen some action in the past few days as one of the developers from Red Bee Interactive, Andre, has given us another insane image which shows us a massive Chapter 3 feature. This feature is special though because it's something we've discussed on this channel and something I've been especially hoping for as it makes the gameplay experience so much more personal. But before I get into analyzing these announcements, make sure you scroll down right now to the comments and join my community discord to talk with other like-minded individuals about chapter 3 and anything else. Anyways, now I am sure you're all wondering, what is this image you're talking about? Well, let's talk about what Andre actually spoke about in the message first. He said, quote, we're working on some skins for the characters among other things. What do you think? Unquote. Wow. I mean, Andre, please don't play with us like this, my guy. This feature is massive and shows their genuine design desire to innovate and add advanced features to this game. Obviously, there are some more things to dissect from this comment, but first let's take a look at the image. Are you ready? Here we are, the man himself, Ruhi, one of the characters from Raft, clearly shown standing in the middle of Balboa Island. But what's he wearing? Well, looks like something completely different to what we're used to seeing him in. So what does this mean? As Andre said, Redbeat will officially be adding characters skins to the game in chapter 3. However, this isn't to be mistaken for character customization, and although I did an entire video on character customization in that video, I actually mainly focused on the fact that the addition of being able to change your clothes or just the color of your character's clothes would be so convenient, and it looks like they've actually delivered on that request to the full extent. I do, however, think the way that Andre worded this statement means we will not actually be getting raw character customization where we'd obviously be able to change the character's details and appearance such as their facial features or even their hair. However, that's not where the speculation ends. In the announcement of this image, Andre used the term characters, as in plural. And yes, guys, I know there are already two characters in the game and this could be exactly what he meant and nothing more. However, for some reason, I'm getting the feeling that this might mean the addition of a brand new character. Stay with me, as we all know, the two characters in the game aren't just for appearance. They actually have meaning in the story and we know this because they both have their own names and they're actually related, father and daughter. Now, roughly a month ago, Andre scared a lot of the community by asking the question, quote, we're planning to redo some of the story for the next chapter. So far, has the storyline in Raft interested you? Unquote. And something's telling me that this question and the most recent image of character customization are somehow linked. I strongly believe believe because of this that we might get our hands on a brand new playable character skin in chapter 3, because this would technically be a storyline change, as it would change the narrative from the player's perspective. I could be completely wrong guys, so don't forget that, but I also wouldn't rule it out because oftentimes rafters playing groups of 3 or 4, and it's not that fun when you all have the same skins on and you keep struggling to identify each other, and a couple more character skins would eliminate this issue for the most part I believe. Any Anyways, now that we've established character skins will be coming to Raft in Chapter 3, let's talk about how they might go about implementing this. There are obviously a plethora of Steam games which include skins as a large gameplay feature, whether that's through weapon skins in CSGO, character skins like in Rocket League, or even map skins like they have in Among Us. There are infinite ways of going about skin implementation, however, the biggest topic to discuss about this would be the method of obtaining these skins, and these also also vary game by game. There are games like Stardew Valley which simply offer a whole range of skins for you to choose for your character right at the beginning of each game. Another method used in the gaming industry which is more effective for monetary gain is through crates or item shops like how in CSGO, Fortnite, Rocket League and many many more games have done. However, we all know how Red Bee operates. They aren't here for a quick money grab and we know this because the game doesn't cost a lot, it's very high quality and there aren't even any DLCs. DLCs. And the fact that they allow modding and heavily endorse it also means they're open to interpretations of their game and aren't selfish. And because of them not being very selfish nor out for purely monetary gain, I do think the way they'll go about skins will be similar to how they did the furniture, which would also be reasonably unique in the gaming industry in comparison to other games like it. I think we'll be able to find clothes lying around the world and we'll even be able to craft up our own clothes using wool 
flower dyes, and anything else which might be handy like leather and so on. However, there is one notable drawback to this implementation method, and that is skin trading. In the past, skin trading has really proven its worth by helping communities flourish so much on Steam as seen by H1Z1, CSGO, Rocket League, and many, many more, but there are also flaws with it. Skin trading obviously creates an entire market for these skins, so that means each skin and cosmetic in general will have values attached to them determined by user demand and general rarity. Obviously, these values will be real-life money. This can obviously be extremely fun to play with and also creates a market for traders given enough traffic. However, even though I genuinely think Redby wouldn't do this kind of feature for Raft, it's fun to think about the possibilities that could come with it. There is one more thing that comes with a skin trading market though, and it's actually been known to cause a lot of legality issues, most of them surrounding gambling. CSGO players took this idea of gambling with skins and absolutely ran with it, and still today it's absolutely thriving and losing people hundreds and thousands of dollars each day. On top of these lawful issues though, Valve, who are the creators of CSGO, have also run into quite a few legal troubles surrounding those pesky crates which they've got in their game. Over four years ago now, a bunch of teenagers actually filed a formal lawsuit against Valve. This was in the Western District of Washington in the USA obviously, and it basically outlined the possibility of Valve aiding and abetting to illegal gambling. And although if this case were to go through, it would have provided a safer space within gaming, however, it sadly fell through and allowed Valve to step up their gambling endorsement game, and that's exactly what they have done ever since. However, that's not exactly fair for me to say because they have added a trade hold to skins which have recently been traded, and I believe it's seven days. But on top of this, of course, with every new operation and update that comes out, there's new crates which have heavily abetted to people losing a lot of more money, including myself, I'm not gonna lie. However, let me just round up this video with a description of what I think Redbeat will do with these skins. I truly don't believe that any of them will be able to be sold on the Steam community market and therefore won't have any monetary value attached to them. However, I do think they'll come in a physical form in the actual game and they'll probably be something we'll have to search for in the actual world. We could also possibly craft them up in order to collect loads of different varieties of clothing. But who knows, perhaps we'll even get some character clothes customization when creating a brand new world just like in Stardew Valley. And don't forget, I also theorized the possible addition of a new character for us to play as, and I really think it might happen. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you've enjoyed this video and are excited for the now confirmed skins to be added into Raft, then drop this video a like, and if you're new around here, why not click that red subscribe button to join the family? It really helps me out a ton. Thanks for all the recent support, guys, and remember, every single Saturday, I'll be live right here on my channel with our Raft Survival World at 4 p.m. GMT, so come join me. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and I will see you later.